hello guys welcome back to my channel again this is Opa packaging in this video we are here to make a very simple but delicious ashanti rice anwamu okay or ghana rice anwamu this recipe here guys it is delicious okay this recipe is very very delicious when you make it you can you know really taste this rice and nutrients and everything that it comes with it it's just beautiful so i try to make this very very healthy for me remember we're on a weight loss diet normally when they cook their one more they don't add you know any vegetables but mine is going to have a lot of vegetables so guys if you want to learn how i made this rice stay tuned and let so first to prepare this recipe you are going to need your ashanti rice the english name is ghana royal farmers rice because this rice is made in ghana freshly made processed hand processed okay it's not machinery processed it's human being processed so this rice is very very healthy organic and non-gmo second you're going to need your coconut oil i just pour some coconut oil in this bottle so this is what i am going to use for my rice and also for my stew that will be enough and I have some one diced onion so I am going to divide this onion into two one for the rice and also one for the stew and also on this side I have some mixed frozen organic vegetables so as you can see I have all the list on the screen yeah this is what I am going to use and for our stew we are going to need some two eggs you can use more depending on your choice or the amount you're making and also i have some mixed paste right here i have some garlic ginger and hot pepper paste in which i am going to use that to prepare my stew and don't forget guys to grab your geisha this is mackerel with tomato sauce on it and guys i am so in love with bell pepper these days because it is more healthier i'm going to use this to replace the tomato so this is roasted bell peppers guys trust me this bell pepper is just delicious it's healthy it's gonna make your stew really nice let's keep the tomato for now and my spice i have some cayenne mix spice and you know other spice just you know to combine it together and also i have some salt right here and all guys we're gonna start cooking okay so first i have my pot on the stove so i am going to add some oil this is coconut oil guys followed i am going to add some diced onion and we're just gonna let it cook or brown out you know before we add the rice so just give it about you know probably five you know to six minutes just to brown up you know and then you can go so right now our onion is cooking we're just gonna go ahead to the sink and wash the rice it is very 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 important okay so guys with this rice when you go to ghana and you try to buy some make sure that you have them take all the rocks or the stones from it for you okay because if you don't do that and you try to do it yourself you might end up getting more stones in your rice and you don't want that because it's made in ghana so it has to be taken out okay it is just you know organic so it has to be taken out and have them do it for you for just you know once you once you depend Oh my, oh my, you are boning in a day. A few amount. So that's what my dad did for me. So after washing the rice, let's check how the onion is doing. So, so guys, you know what I like to do? After I fry this onion, I like to take some out, you know, just to preserve it for later. That is my option, okay? If you want, you can take some. If you don't like it, you just, you know, go ahead and cook with the rice. So that is what I am doing right now. Okay, so right now the onion is sticking out just a little bit. We're just going to add the vegetables. Yes, I am going to add my frozen vegetables and I'm just going to give it a good stir. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it on for about one minute and I'm going to add my rice. As you can see, I just added my rice. The rice look kind of like broken because when they harvest the rice, you know, they try to 
peel the skin by themselves which is they pound it in the mortar or in the um however like they do it so it kind of break the rice that's why it feels like a mono boo boo i say boo boo but that is how it is so right now i just added some salt and i'm going to give it a good stir and i have about two cups of water i'm going to add it as well and then that is what i am going to use to boil this rice just two cups because this is three cups of rice so after that we're just gonna cover it and then leave it on you know to cook just to you know steamer make sure you don't put it on a high heat because if you do that it's gonna burn your rice and we don't want that so after we cover it we're just gonna go back and then start cooking the stew so right now I am going to place my pot it is nice and hot so I'm adding some coconut oil after coconut oil followed by the diced onion give it a nice good stir and then let it cook for about one minute and then we're gonna add our paste that is the garlic ginger and pepper right here give it a good stir mm-hmm well fried mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so with this we can leave it on for about seven minutes you know depending how much you're making for this recipe is just for seven minutes okay and then we're gonna add our bell peppers guys like I told you I am replacing tomato with bell peppers okay because I love this roasted bell peppers guys it tastes delicious it's more healthier you can even just use this to prepare jello fries okay without adding the tomato sauce or the tomato paste or whatever it is okay this is just healthy option for you guys so now let's go back and check and see how the rice is doing so right now as you can see the rice is looking mm, jam guys this rice is smelling so good you know the ashanti rice has a very good perfume whenever you cook it you can even go beyond your house you know just say it will smell like a way your natural smell when you spread it that is why i love this rice guys it is so delicious and the flavor oh it tastes good guys you need to try this okay so after we get a good stir we're just going to cover it and lower it and let it steamer until it is done so back to our stew as you can see this stew is doing really amazing so as you can see right now i'm gonna add some mackerel in there guys if you don't like mackerel it is okay you don't freak out okay add whatever you want you can add you know some meat or whatever it's just you know just a little sauce on the side for this rice that's it it's nothing you know bake at all so with my i like this macro option if you don't like the macro you can leave it so i'm just gonna add my spice in there and give it a very good nice stir and we're just gonna cover it with steamer or let it cook slowly step by yeah free when they back out now i am now i'm almost in there i had there so after a while i'm gonna add some salt because you're not out salt yet okay guys make sure you add your salt taste it Make sure that you have the right taste. 1% shouldn't be trapped student and then just one percent empty. So make sure that you, you make it at the right choice. So guys, after it cooks for a little while, see you can see oil coming out from the top. It means that it is almost done. So this is the time that I can just go ahead and add my egg. So with the egg, guys, you don't want to smash the egg with the stew. I like my egg to come out big pieces. Okay, so that way, you know, I like that way better. So when you taste the stew, you know that you're eating egg stew. That is my preference guys so by that looking perfection so after i give it a good stir i'm just gonna cover it again and leave it on for about five minutes and then this stew will be done i can't believe that guys this stew does not have tomatoes 
is amazing so guys as you can see our rice is done our stew is done i am dishing it on the other side guys this rice is just amazing i love this rice it's not just healthy it smells good you know you got all this vegetable on top of it okay it's not greasy but that's what you want that's how perfection this rice is that's how you want your rice okay and the other side like i said you can eat it with your hot pepper or you can eat it with just your stew so thank you so much for watching guys this is how i make my authentic ghana amuamun okay or ashanti rice ghana royal farmers rice i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up whenever you go to ghana make sure you bring your own rice cook it you know it's healthier it's better than the chinese rice if you ask obapa so i hope you should be here don't forget to give me a comment don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe and also guys the giveaway is coming out soon i've already chosen two people for this giveaway and those people are the winners so guys stay tuned don't go nowhere and i will see you on my next video and hope you should be better have a wonderful beautiful night